Hi! In this video, I will show you how to identify a clogged nozzle and how you can easily unclog it. Hi, I'm Melinda and welcome to Irvine 3D. We make videos here to show you tips on 3D printing and show you how to solve your 3D printing problems. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you can get more helpful tips on 3D printing. By unclogging your printer, this is a simple fix that will get your printer back to business. Let's first talk about the symptoms of a clogged nozzle. First, if the nozzle is completely clogged, no filament will come out of the hot end and your printer will air print. You'll also notice your extruder pushing and grinding against the filament without moving the filament any further. Second, if the nozzle is partially clogged, the filament will extrude from the hot end and come out curly. Without the nozzle, the partial blockage prevents the filament from extruding in a straight line. To check for partial clog, you can extrude 30 millimeters of filament. Now, let's get to how we're going to fix this clog. First, preheat the nozzle to the melting temperature of your filament. We are using PETG, so we heat our nozzle to 220 degrees. Next, use a silver needle that typically comes with a 3D printer set and stick it into the nozzle head. This will dislodge any filament stuck at the bottom of the nozzle. Now, use a 4mm socket wrench to unscrew the nozzle. You can use a wrench that the printer comes with, but we prefer to use the following 4mm socket wrench that has a handle. It's much easier to use and it can hold the nozzle when it is removed from the hot end. In the description, we provide an Amazon link to this wrench. Also, please be careful removing the nozzle, it's very hot and can burn. Once the nozzle is removed, push the filament through the Bowden tube to dislodge any stuck filament and then snip the end. Now unscrew the Bowden coupler. Then move the Bowden coupler higher on the Bowden tube. If filament is physically stuck inside the Bowden tube and it's clogged that part of the tube, you may need to trim it. Next, take the Bowden tube and push it back and forth through the heat block to remove any remaining filament stuck on the walls of the heat block. Now reinstall the nozzle. Screw in the Bowden coupler. And finally, insert the Bowden tube all the way in so it's flush with the nozzle. So there you have it. Clogging is a really common problem with the standard Bowden tube setup. So be sure you can identify it and with our instructions, you can then clog it in minutes and get your printer back up and running in no time. If you have any questions about anything I've said today or have done, feel free to leave a comment. I'm making more videos, so be sure to request any video topics that you would like for us to show. Be sure to check out our future videos because we'll be making videos to show you how to upgrade your machine so that it doesn't clog it so much. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that when we make videos each week, you'll get notified. All right, we'll see you next time.